Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show how to create a web form uh, in ASP.NET using Visual Studio. And this form including um, video buttons, drop down lists, chat boxes, and text box. So if the user enter <coughs> the travel time and the continent from um, the drop down list, the guidebook, which is the chat box, and the temperature from Fahrenheit um, to, com to be converted to Celsius, click submit button and the message will be <coughs> showing. So think of submitting, you plan to travel in the summer to Antarctica using the Lonely Planet and TK Guide and temperature in Fahrenheit, 5 Fahrenheit is negative 15 Celsius. So that's a form we're trying to create. So <coughs> we create a new empty uh, website in Visual Studio, and um, we highlight the project name and right click add new item. So we're going to add a new web form. Let's name this travel form and add. <coughs> so some code already automatically generated for you in the design view, and your mouse cursor should be within the borders here that shows that in the source code, you're building something inside this form. So now on the left side, in Visual Studio, there's a toolbox, uh, lots of form controls you can drag and drop. So at first, let's uh, give it a title. And now let's give it a button <clears throat> so to save time here I'm only gonna um, customize the text here but not really the um, ID so ideally your project would like to name each control with reasonable ID such as video button spring video button summer and so on okay, so for now just default Video button one, two, three, four. So it's not done yet because all these um, radio buttons are separated, and so we want to put them into the same group so the user can only um, connect, uh, select one button at one time. So this is the effect of radio buttons. Uh, so the group name should be the same for all four of them. Let's call it the season. So same with this one. Same with. Okay, so that's our video button. So next. a job box, job down list. So in the job down list, we can um, dynamically choose, uh, connect to a database and choose the data source by selecting records from the database. Um, that is useful if you have a lot of um, things you want to show in the job down, such as um, states, but you can also, uh, in this case, automatically enter some items and text is what users will see from the list. Uh, drop down list. So we do have from Africa. Could have space inside too. add a empty item um, so you want to put it on the very top so that by default it's like empty <coughs> not selected so um, next so here 
here we use the checkbox, Lonely Planet. Again, you should, re in reality, um, rename the ID of each item here, we just make it as the default to save time. The last one is decay. <clears throat> the only change ID is right here. So, the last enter the button we are taken to the code behind which is aspx.bb and here we need a few uh, declarations first of all the message uh, the string that we want to ultimately display and for that we're gonna need a extra label to show the dynamic message later so the label goes over here we don't want to initially show any text okay and so back in here, uh, message is string, and then we're gonna need some variable to hold values. Yeah. Continent. And we also have um, book. And then we have double. Uh, we can. Um, it's good happy to initialize it to be um, empty strings and zeros for the numbers. It's good happy to have initialize it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna need a Celsius by, uh, variable to hold the Celsius result, which is also double. So once we have those variables, we're going to go ahead and grab the values from the submitted form. So we're going to use um, a bunch of uh, if statements. So first of all, the radio button will be. It's a nice feature we talk about in Visual Studio that um, the pre-set um, control names will pop up in the list for you to select. If the radio button once checked, we know that that's the season spring. So. And also, the tab keeps select uh, radio button two checked, and then let's just go and paste, make it faster. Else, if radio button three the object and, and last else if radio button four. This, we should get at least one value. Um, <clears throat> so next we want to have the continents. So continents actually from the drop down is actually really easy. Um, just one line of code. <clears throat> so we have the drop down. And this that's our drop down is ID dot selected item dot value. Okay, so that's as simple as that. So now let's take care of the checkboxes. Checkbox is a bunch of if statements. So checkbox one about checked. Um, then we're gonna grab that value. So book would be 
uh, adding the lonely planet uh, then we're going to be end of uh, we're going to have multiple ones I just well it pulled um, that is two and this one is number three DK. So that's for the check marks. The last one I have the degrees. Um, so we talk about using the bar to get the text from the text box and convert to numeric values. So the text box we only have one. It is text box one dot txt. Okay, and then we have the Celsius. The conversion should be um, f take away thirty two degrees and divided by one point eight. Um, I think that's the formula. So now we're ready to output a dynamic message. And um, so we plan to visit the season to continent and um, using Temperature, you enter the temperature um, F and um, it is F is and then Celsius value and Celsius. Okay, that's that. So let's take a look. Finally, we need a label text to be assigned the value of this dynamic message. And this is it. Okay, so if you run this, um, let me run this um, travel form set as a star page, run this, and For example, we choose to go to um, Antarctica in the summertime, and we're going to use Lonely Planet and DK, and the temperature is um, Fahrenheit. Submit, and thank you for submitting your plan to visit in summer to Antarctica and DK tour guide. I can use some spacing here. Focus temperature 5F is negative 15C. And what about in the uh, winter time to Australia? That will be warm, right? So we're going to use the folder, all the tour bo um, books, and temperature would be probably, let's see, 20. We can use uh, more format things to make the uh, digits less more user friendly, but this is pretty much a functional web form.